Hey everybody, this is Jesse with HTC One SoftModder, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to make up for your lack of multitasking key and how to switch apps quickly on your HTC One. For some reason, the HTC One was switched without a multitasking key. It only came with a back key and a home key, which is pretty abnormal for Android phones. Most Android phones come with a back key, a home key, some even with a menu key, but almost all Android phones have a multitasking key. The HTC One does not, but I'm going to show you a way to make up for it with an app called Looper. Let's go to the Play Store and download Looper. It's free, check it out. Once you do, open it. Opening the app will take you to a uh, tutorial screen, which I'll actually show you when I open up the settings. Um, it'll take you to this screen. It's a tour. It'll go through some of the basic features of Looper. You can then swipe through and check those out, or you can just hit the home key, exit out of it, don't worry about it. But you do have to set up Looper, which you can do by finding it in the drop drop-down um, menu right here for the uh, for your for your tasks um, it'll always be here you won't see it if you don't pull down the menu but if you do tap it you can tap it to configure it uh, once you're here what you're going to want to do is you have to uh, make sure that this box is ticked which is uh, service make sure that that is ticked on make sure that it's good to go and then go to edit trigger which is right here here, so when you use Looper, what it's going to do is um, you'll drag in from either the left or the right side of the screen with your finger or your thumb. And when you do that, it'll open its own task launcher, which I think is actually a lot better than HTC stock launcher. Um, to do that, you want to make sure that you can adjust these brackets to make them as big or small as you want to. You can even move them around the screen by um, dragging it up and over. Um, there is some delay when you're doing it, so just be patient with it. Let's see. Yep. Um, but I find it's better just to keep it in its default position around down here because this is where your thumb is going to rest normally and comfortably when you're navigating your phone. You can also um, tap the uh, this area on or off completely at all if you want to. So a lot of apps actually like Gmail have a menu to the side um, for navigation when you pull over from this direction. So actually you, you can turn that off or on if you want to. You can adjust sensitivity. Um, I have mine up kind of halfway because I found that I couldn't even um, activate the um, the trigger unless my sensitivity was up a little bit. So you can adjust all those things there. Um, you can also adjust the delay. So this is how long you hold in the gesture before the app, before the trigger launches. I have mine set to a fourth of a second, which is pretty fast, but it's still, um, still enough of a delay so that if I'm swiping left or right, I won't accidentally activate the trigger. But if you want to avoid that, you can also swipe a little up or a little down more than you're used to. Once you've got all that set, um, you, can, you can activate the trigger anytime just by dragging in from the left or the right. Drag in from the left there, drag in from the right. And what you'll get, I'll swipe over here so you can see a little bit better. What you'll get is you'll get a radial dial of your most recent applications. And to access to um, go to an app quickly, just go down to the app to launch it. Make sure you're actually highlighting the app, otherwise it won't launch. So you'll see a little small circle on it when you're selecting the app. Make sure you're there. It's really easy to overshoot. <clears throat> the regular test switcher it looks like you have to double tap to do it. It's a little bit cumbersome. And once you do, you get these cards. And it's a little harder to see than using just this radial menu, which I think is pretty great. You can also go to more apps. You'll get five of your most recent apps, but if you go up to the plus sign and back down, you'll get even more. So you can mess with that a little bit. Pretty great stuff overall, and really easy to turn off if you don't want to use it anymore. Just go back to tap to configure, and just unselect service, and you won't have it. And that's it. For the full tutorial, check out HTC One Soft Modder, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody.